and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be meal prep. I just wanted to give you some really quick basic options because without preparation you are going to struggle on keto. You can't walk into your local supermarket, especially in the UK, and um, come across something that is keto. And even if it is, it's not going to fill you up, it's not going to be a meal, or, you know, it's not going to be good quality anyway. So, yeah, be prepared, and these will all be freezer friendly, which I love, because we have three freezers in this house, and they are not full of ready meals or any sort of pre-made stuff. It, they are full of meal prep, because I love a bit of meal prep. Most nights when I make dinner, I usually always make a big batch and I save some for lunches and obviously eat some on the night. So yeah, without further ado, I will uh, start the video. So today I'm going to be making chicken curry and beef mince taco bowl and a few other little bits which I think are necessary to be successful and very prepared. First things first, add in your coconut oil. I prefer to cook with this. Adding my chicken breast. Yes, chicken breast, not that fatty. And obviously doing the mince at the same time. You don't have to do it in this order, but once I have the protein cooking, get that done first, then obviously I chop my vegetables. But um, I just wanted to show you. So <laughs> this is probably obvious, but I don't know about you, but I personally get really sick of boiled eggs and I think eggs are a great snack but boiled eggs can get really dry, can get really boring, really flavourless. I've got these eggs, these are my favourite like I mentioned in my last video but um, these are definitely my favourite. They are Burford Brown's Clarence Court eggs if you don't know. Yeah I just want to show you basically how I make my eggs and these are great because then you can take them as they are with you wherever you may be going or even just prepare them in the fridge for your afternoon snack and it means you don't have to get a pan out, you don't have to get you know, oil pan out and get it all ready and also you can have them hot and fresh on the go or just easily accessed. So again, it's probably obvious but I just want to show you what I would usually make. I like using glass containers as they're better for the environment and also better for your health, less plastic. Basically what we're going to be making are mini omelettes. So add whatever toppings you desire. I usually use onion, tomato and obviously season well. And once they are sealed up and secure, I pop them in the microwave usually for about a minute and a half. But please keep an eye on them as they are prone to exploding, I've learned. You can obviously mix them around, but personally, I like to just keep them like this. In my chicken curry, I'm going to add yellow pepper and aubergine. And then in the burrito bowl, it will just be simple. So some green peppers and of course, add some passata to make sure it's nice and saucy. What good would a burrito bowl be without some salsa? So I just chop some onions and tomato and you can obviously put some coriander in there. I then make sure to weigh it because it just makes sure that when I'm tracking my macros that I don't underestimate what is there as I definitely end up doing that if I just eyeball the whole thing. For the purpose of this video, I've obviously added the toppings like the salad and things like that. I wouldn't add because this wants to be freezer friendly. So you can obviously prepare these separately or keep them in the fridge on their own. And then the mints can be frozen, which is perfect. For the sauce of the curry, I use canned coconut milk. I personally remove just the fat hard part and leave the rest of the juice as that contains most of the carbs. If there's one thing you take away from this video, it should be the fact that I'm using cauliflower rice, pre-made, pre-bagged, pre-portioned, and it's frozen. And yeah, it's a savior in this house, I can tell you that. So 
So that's the meals done. Now for something sweet, I like to have some yogurt with some protein powder and maybe top it with some frozen berries and macadamia nuts and any other things that you fancy, of course. Really and truly, if you time this all well enough, this could be done in an hour or so, including everything. And the only other thing that's missing is some snacks. And like I said earlier, you need to be prepared. So I have been given this beautiful box by Bear In Mind. They do keto boxes, vegan boxes. If you can stay and watch till the end, then I have a discount code for you. Yeah, basically they include savory and sweet snacks. And there are some really amazing, clean, yummy snacks that are in there that you maybe you not have found yourself. Not to mention, it's just a great way of familiarizing yourself with all those keto treats that you don't really want to buy a bulk of if you're not sure what it's going to be like. This is such a good way to explore and really get to know what is out there. Not all their boxes on their website are keto. They have vegan boxes, they have high protein, they have lots of different versions. So it's worth taking a look and it's definitely opened my eyes up to see how many products there are in the UK which are keto friendly, like really keto friendly. And there's nothing more exciting than trying new products. One thing I strive for in my diet is trying to make sure that I eat products that are minimal ingredients and mostly whole foods. And what I love about this box and these products that they've got together, that they actually are very clean. That bar only has very few ingredients and it contains coconut oil rather than some of the nasty cheaper oils that they could use. So not only will you have the benefit of the products being keto, you also have the benefit of them actually being healthy and also supporting a small family run business. One thing that can put people off from starting keto is probably the convenience side of it. So to have some snacks that are ready and packaged and still good for you is such a big benefit. For instance, this one has MCT oil in it. Like they've really sourced some amazing products and I'm so, so excited to try some of these that I've not tried before. I will say that my favorite is the Keto Keto bar. It's like a biscuit and that's one thing that I struggle to find a good replacement for is biscuits. Who doesn't love tea and biscuits, right? And it is so tasty. So yeah, I mean, have yourself a little look and it will definitely give you some amazing options. you to bear in mind please if you liked what you saw go and check them out because they are a family-run business and they are obviously based in the UK so if you want to help them out and also it will definitely help you out by being prepared with your snacks for on the go or even when you're at home and you're looking in your cupboards they are absolutely perfect for that so please check them out and please if you want to use my discount code you'll get 10% off of your order so there we have it, they are my go-to warming, easy meal prep ideas for lunches. Obviously you could use these for dinners if you fancy, but it's just great to have these ready in the freezer or the fridge and not be caught out because that's where you end up going wrong. Nobody really wants to eat salad in the winter and it's just nice to have something that feels a bit like a treat. So I feel like curry, it's probably not your first thought that you could think you would be able to have on keto, but of course you can. Just make sure you make it with the right ingredients and obviously use cauliflower rice or some other alternative and there you go. It's, it's carb free or it's very low carb anyway. Personally, I find that making meal prep in the week is sometimes better rather than doing one big batch on a Sunday, which sometimes does happen, but mostly I like to keep it topped up and then I like to rotate the meals because I am not a person who likes to eat the same thing every day and it, I get very, very tired of things really quickly. So if I can keep it on a rotation, then you don't feel like it's a chore. A bit of excitement rather than just looking at a chicken salad every day or a tuna salad for the whole week. I really 
If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what it is that you like to make for your meal preps. Maybe you can give me some inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.